Well, folks, today we got a lot of rides happening around the streets. We got a massive disaster. We're also hearing about a brand new PlayStation console, Spider-Man 2, the GTA Everywhere game from the ex Rockstar devs, and there's a lot to go over, so let's just get right into it. Don't chase that pom pom, chase your dreams, and smash that like button because our first story coming in at our number 11 spot, we got the homie Mr. Dolly JD, who uh, obviously oh, loves shaking. Oh, shaking. And he says, I got my hands on the PS5 DualSense Edge controller a little early thanks to the PlayStation. <laughs> First impressions, looks, feels, premium, customization is solid, and love being able to adjust the dead zones, sensitivities, and button mapping quickly feels great on Call of Duty, love it so far. We definitely love to see the homie shaking, but also speaking of a disaster coming in at our number 10 spot, I mean, damn man, y'all gotta stop sometimes, okay? This is why I stopped praying for some of y'all out there, because apparently, FYI, Sony has filed a one-week extension request with the FTC going through the January 20th. 2023 to limit or quash or otherwise response to the subpoena served and i know some of you'll be like skizzle i'm a stud muffin you always seem to forget that okay can a brother get that explanation in simple terms and say no more okay because apparently sony has filed a subpoena and they have basically gangbang microsoft because microsoft is saying that bro like call of duty bro where we're gonna get call of duty and we're gonna keep it on all platforms but sony is saying that that's one big cap and once you get the call of duty you're not gonna be dropping on playstation and it's not gonna be good for the gamers. So this is why, uh, and this is why Microsoft went in ganging style and they subpoenaed them on January 17th with a response date on January 20th. But now apparently Sony is like, bro, okay, listen, okay, I, I get it, you wanna subpoena us, but can a brother perhaps get an extra week for, for thinking this through? They're probably gonna be getting their lawyers together and they're asking for more time. And surprisingly, Microsoft agrees. Bro, I, I just cannot even compute that one. I mean, yeah. God damn. And we're also living through end times, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys are smashing the like button and repent now, okay? Because our uh, homeboy shared this clip, and I gotta say, bro, like this uh, new Batman movie looking pretty fire, bro. Like, very, like, very, very fire. And speaking of our ride around the streets, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are mad, people are angry, people are mad, and this situation is so wild that uh, first of all, let me show you this, okay? Because over on the Metacritic, the the paid reviews for even for the paid reviews, uh, Forspoken is sitting at 68, and first. First of all, I gotta say this, bro, 68 is actually a good review! <gasps> 68 is more than passing numbers, okay? Once you have more than 60, that's average. That's passing it. And a lot of people are saying that, yo, how dare you give it like 68? How dare? This game is a masterpiece. And on the other hand, a lot of people are also mad, saying that, bro, this game should have been getting like 3 out of 10, 2 out of 10, <laughs> 1 out of 10. And I'm like, damn, man. Like, I mean, damn, bro. Y'all want to be victim so bad. But 68, that's not a bad number. Uh, you, you got like 22 positive, 37 uh, mixed reviews. And y'all know for the fact that in 4 hours from now this is where the the floods gets gonna open and this is where we're gonna be seeing the real experts review. you know that that's true right and this is where we're gonna see a lot of angry reviews this is where we're gonna be seeing like a lot of positive reviews as well either we're gonna see 10 out of 10s or 0 out of 10s ladies and gentlemen but the situation that's so wild uh, giving next year should give you 95 by saying that for spoken is absolutely fantastic with all your spells you can unlock and then when you scroll down with the uh, hardcore gamer more like a toxic gamer uh, they said that we're forespoken should have been striking an appealing fresh start for Luminous Productions. The end result, sadly, is a game not only bland and unpolished, but deprived of our reason, bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Man, I, I just cannot. I, end me now, okay? End me now. We also had the Xbox patrolling by saying that, yo, $70 versus $1 on Game Pass. And the streets are not stopping, okay? A lot of people are mad, a lot of people dropping DDTs, and a lot of people are catching herpes in this situation. And this situation got so out of hands that even the Sony ponies had to jump in to save this uh, sinking ship. Uh, stolen $180 per year for 10 year versus a $70 solid game that you own there. Fix it for you. And right after people and a lot of gamers started to lose hope in humanity, a lot of people said that, like, there is no coming back. This is why I have stopped praying for a lot of you. Some of you, in fact, every one of you out there there was a little light of hope because this god's man this beautiful soul came out by saying that just a reminder that critic reviews aren't always telling the full story high in life was a lot of fun despite its average reviews my guy 67 is not that bad hey yo what the f and surely when the experts reviews open this game ended up getting the 8.0 and is it gonna be the same for this game as well only time will tell us for sure i feel like that a lot of the japanese homies will give it like 10 out of 10 
because this game is selling like hot kicks in Japan. Over here in the West, a lot of people are getting sued for farting in the wrong direction. You guys know how that goes here in the West, okay? I, I mean, damn. But you want to know what else happened? Roll it. Did I just do that? Well, definitely with my assistance. I did not just do that. We did. I just moved <coughs> with my mind. Perhaps our connection has somehow awoken some abilities. I just moved <coughs> with my mind. I just keep hearing I, I, I. I just moved <coughs> with my freaking mind! <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something Bruh. I did. And also, last week, Aiden Ross called on Twitch to ban hot tub streams. Roll it. I'm gonna flat out and say it, bro. Um, I don't know how many people are gonna back me on this. Uh, Twitch, I believe heavily um, you know, I saw one person that um, lost a lot of money to, to gambling. You guys banned gambling. You guys moved on it quick. I think we have a problem, Twitch. I think there's the hot tub streams, bro. I think it's it should be banned from Twitch. I think hot tub streaming should be banned from Twitch. You're, you know, it's 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 soft. Uh, it's a to OnlyFans, it, and 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 you know, it's the same. It's in the same category as gambling, right? Because it's it's promoting poison. Uh, you know what I'm saying in the brain, and it's. It's it's making people addicted to to uh, it's feeding their addiction to to jerking off, which is a serious problem we have. You know, um, I'm gonna flat out say it. I don't care who who agrees, who doesn't agree, but it, it's just a fact in my opinion. <laughs> Now listen, man, it is actually facts what he's saying, but it's a fact in my opinion that got a lot of people started rolling and a lot of people started rolling. It's just a fact in my opinion. It's just a fact in my opinion. It's just a fact in my opinion. There are people also saying that you used to have all the horses on the stream and now you're saying this. It looks like that he's a changed man. But seriously, man, W Aiden, W Tig, the stocks are off, the stocks are booming. Seriously, man, Twitch is a disease of a platform. It's no longer a gaming website, okay? We got chicks with the big ass bundas just spreading that right around the Twitter streets and not the Twitter. We got chicks with the bundas just spreading it around the Twitch streets uh, to the kids out there. I mean, damn, man. There is a whole lot of haram out there. These are the signs of the end times. So I gotta say, W8, and I gotta clap up for this uh, young man. I mean, he's becoming a man. This boy is uh, surely becoming a man. <laughs> becoming a man. We also had Tom Anderson coming out by saying that on all the PS5 Pro Slim rumors, I don't think it's a pro or slim. My understanding is that it's just Gen 2 of the regular PS5, the normal PS5 will cease production at the end of this year and the new model will start in April and begin selling in September. He also followed up by saying that as for if there is going to be a pro version this generation, I'm not entirely sure, he said. It doesn't feel like the regular version uh, that has been fully utilized yet and surely won't be on mass until end of the year. All I can say here is that Wait for it. All I can say here is that I've heard more about the PlayStation 6 than a PS5 Pro. I mean, damn I mean, they, they already working on a PlayStation 6, my God. PS5, we don't even have a next-gen game. We don't even have a next-gen game, and I do know for the fact that Sony recently came out because of that Microsoft and Call of Duty situation, and they said that y'all were gonna have PlayStation 6, but don't worry, we're not gonna have it before, like, 2027. It's most likely gonna be, like, by the end of 2027 or in 2028. We, we still got some time, but surely we had a lot of leaks, and we even had a TV company that exposed the entire situation, and they said that we're gonna be having a PS5 Pro by the end of, like, 2023, 2024. That's kinda like what they said, and this year we're supposed to get the slim model but Tom is saying that it's not necessarily a slim model it's basically gonna be the gen 2 version that's gonna be replacing the current one because uh, Sony wanna cut their cost and they wanna make sure that a lot of people are able to get I mean uh, itty bitty buddy be okay also shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation because apparently everywhere game yup this is that same game that is being made by the ex Rockstar game dev we have Leslie Benzies that peaced out from Rockstar games he was doing helicopters allegedly he was doing Bruh. helicopters at Rockstar Games. He has done that allegedly for years and years. Made that cheddar with them, made that GTA, and some are also claiming that he had involvement in that GTA 6. But then for some reason, he kind of peaced out, started working on his Everywhere game, which was recently revealed. And it was kind of like weird, a little bit weird. It was kind of like Fortnite, but it also had the Mafia 3 kind of vibe. Those of you that have seen that, you know what I'm talking about. And apparently, they came out and they said 2023. But but I'm a little bit suspect, right? Because their Twitter account is not really verified, uh, but they still got like 13,000 followers and they got like 18 other people that I know are following.
following him. It is a little bit suspect. Yo, imagine we find out that it's actually like dead ass a fake account. And in the next video, you're probably gonna hear me say that. Let's get right into the news. But also, apparently, Yuri, who is uh, one of the actors for Spider Man 2, he came out and he started saying that I've still got a little bit to do. It's a massive game, so I'm still doing a little bit of work. I know they're confident about their release date because uh, right now a lot of people are assuming, like, is this game still gonna be coming out in 2023? Because we barely saw anything for this game. The only thing we saw was uh, back in 2021 when this game was officially revealed, officially announced. That's when we saw the CGI trailer, and that, that was the only thing. And so far, there hasn't been anything massive. So far, we haven't seen a trailer. And a lot of people are looking like this. They're saying that Sony, bruh, like, y'all gotta stop doing hell helicopters y'all be standing there with thumbs up y'all asses and y'all gotta drop that trailer y'all gotta drop that gameplay and he says that i know they're confident about their release date but i will tell you that it is astonishing mm. it is surely a little bit suspect and check this out okay at our number two spot ladies and gentlemen sit down uh kiss your loved ones goodbye because apparently it's been over 500 days since the last playstation 5 showcase <laughs> I mean, talk about gaming being dry, it doesn't get drier than this, ladies and gentlemen. And at our number one spot, we got a massive disaster. Xbox officially quit. They just did say this. Click on this video on the screen. This is some of the craziest video. Or click the video on the left, either one, and I will see you right there.